I don't understand is, Sandra wasn't brutally laid off. She was given a severance fee. A fee five times bigger than any normal severance fee. So tell me, why is she doing this? Because she's a desperate gold digger. <laughs> you know, for a boss, you're too quick to speak. It is not that way that people pass off such compliments. So, I understand that. I don't get this. I really don't get it. I mean, why is it so hard for your client to say what warranted him kicking off my client from a job she's damn good at? Honestly, I don't know where this whole conversation is headed. I fired I, my employee with a good pay. What's all this? An extra five million. I don't like seeing your face. Get lost. I don't think she knew about my smart ass colleague long shot. Does it matter? She stood in for her. Time and again, she proved me wrong. Jones, I understand your angle. And. I am not. I am not angry. I mean, I never expected anything from her. So why should I be disappointed? Charlie. One more word about her and I will ask you out of my office. All right, all right, that's okay. What doing dreams tonight, remember? I don't think. You are. See, I'm not letting you withdraw under my watch this time. 5 p.m. or I'll be the one to come pick you. Like hell you do. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have gone there without But you did anyways. And that was not right. I knew if I told you, you wouldn't let me. Of course I would let you. Are you kidding me? Why in the world will I let you do what you just did? Forget about this, all right? I deserve it. I knew there was no way he'd let me continue to work in his company, but I... I, I guess I deluded myself into thinking that... Uh, that maybe, just maybe he's over everything. What the hell are you talking about? And why do you deserve to be treated like shit? From the way he acted there, it was quite obvious he abused his power when he fired you. And that is not right. How is that not right? It's his company. His establishment. Because if I didn't know any better, I would say you're sticking up for this guy. For crying out loud, he insulted you. Not once, but twice. So why are you doing this? Because he's Charles Andrews. His Charles. My Charles. Ch Charles that I. 
The one I abandoned on our wedding night. Three years ago. It's Charles. Same guy I dumped and ran off with his brother. That is Charles. I mean, considering the fact that you were still in. I don't regret it. Do you? No. I will never regret having what I had with you. I'm glad it's you, baby. I'm glad it's you and not some random guy that will toy with my emotions later. You know, I can never do that to you. It's you now. And it's going to be you forever. I love you. I love you, baby. I love you very much. <laughs> I've been thinking. I want us to go and see my parents. But this time, I want to make my intentions known to them. Oh, wait a minute. What? Oh my God. Isn't that too... Isn't that too early? And don't we have a lot on our plate already? I mean, I have school, you have work, and then there's a company you just started. Isn't it too much? Mm -mm. 
I know, I know is, I know it's going to be very, very hard, difficult, but with you, it's gonna be easier. Honey, you want me to be better. Mm -hmm. And I'll be better for you. I want us to build our future together. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's. Come here. Mm -hmm. It wasn't in my place and I was so stupid. I should have asked you before sticking up with my assumptions. I'm so sorry. It's fine. I mean, what's done is done. I guess I wasn't thinking clearly. Actually, I never meant to stretch it, but he was totally out of it. I mean, he was as rude as anything you could ever think of. I guess I lost my clue and went extreme. I'm really sorry. He didn't used to be like that. Who? That man? I know him. We dated for three years before everything went down the drain. He was the most loving and caring person I ever knew. And then I ruined him. He used to be this cold hearted person that he is now. Nancy, if, if I could go back in time and change things, I would. He's a good person. He, he doesn't deserve all that I did. Ogachas! Oh my god. Welcome, sir. I'll follow. Bye, sir. Uh, Welcome, sir. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. You know you have nothing to fear, right? It's just my mom and my dad. Moreover, you've spoken with my mom several times on the phone. You should have gotten familiar with her. Charles, talking with her on the phone and, and seeing her one-on-one -on -one are two different things entirely. Besides, first time we spoke, she, she, she wasn't so aesthetic. But she aged off eventually. Now both of you get along so well, even more than she does with my younger brother. Hey, I am here for you, with you and always. She may be scary, but she doesn't bite. Okay? Come, let's go.
was from. No way, Dad. I won't have you me mellow in my private life. Never. No Get way. Back, no way. Oh, Charlie boy. <laughs> Good to have you here. Thanks, Dad. Ah, thanks, Dad. I missed you. I missed you too, Dad. I missed you too. Charlie boy. <laughs> Good to see you, sir. Yes. Good to see you, sir. Ah. Uh, oh, Dad. Mom. Meet Cassandra and my fiancé. I mean, my parents, probably so, and misses. At last. Charlie has said so much about you. Never stopped singing praises of you. <laughs> We're glad you're here finally. Thank you so much, sir. I am most treasured to be here. <sighs> so we met finally, Cassandra. You're welcome to our home on the board. Yes, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. So, is anyone going to introduce the prodigal son to Charles' angel? Oh, you are afraid that I might corrupt her. Honey, <laughs> 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 I mean, meet my brother, Franklin. Hi, Franklin. So, this is the woman that has captured the heart of my brother. No wonder my father wants me to get married, even when he knows I'm not ready. Well, you know, that's not the reason. She doesn't need to know everything. Oh, uh, come on, children. Uh, uh, Cassandra wants to be your welcome. Please make yourself comfortable and give you something to drink. Can, you, can I join you in the kitchen? Oh, nonsense. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, ma'am. Ah. So, Charlie boy, um, you failed many times on your promises of homecoming. So, what was it? Honestly, I hate it so much. I hate to see my mom like that, and he knows it. Yeah. Is he always like that? Hot headed. Yeah. You know, he actually went off the radar the very moment he landed this dream job and started making some serious income. He... He totally forgot his route. Well, he did say that um, we'd be lucky to meet him and, and here he is. Sure. Do you know he actually came back because my, my dad threatened to to disown him. Oh. He's very stubborn. He wouldn't have come. I am serious. Um, enough of him. Tell me. What do you have to say about my family? <sighs> Oh, thank you, dear. You're welcome. I should be on my way now. Mom, Mom, I insist on following you. Don't worry. You're my guest. Just sit at home and relax. Enjoy yourself. Eat and drink anything you want. I can handle it, okay? okay. I'll see you when I come back. Yes, yeah, have a good day. Thank you. You take care of yourself, eh? I will. All right, bye. bye, -bye. this to me. I didn't do anything to you. Leave me alone. You made me like this. What? I feel it in your eyes. 
Frank, let go of me, please. I can see that you want me as much as I want you. What? I don't want you. Stay away from me. Don't deny it. I know Charles don't get you the way that I do. Charles gets to me, all right? Then prove it. What happened between us happened? Because, because I had what you wanted and I still have it. Yes. I'm the man you love with. What? I don't love you. Then prove it. Prove it to me that I'm not the one that you want. What does Charles even have? I have cars. I have a house. I have a great job. I have money. I have it all, unlike Charles. Well, we will some other time, Mom. Uh, Sandra has a lot to do in school. Uh, Gladys, just let them be. Huh? Soon enough, uh, you will have them all to yourself. Both of you should really get going because if you continue looking at your mother, you'll never leave. <laughs> Andrew, that's the truth. Yeah, um, that's right. Both of you should hit the road. Yeah. So, Frank, you should visit often. The last time you visited, you barely stepped into the house and you went to a party. Yeah. And I met this beautiful woman and I can't get her off my head. You have a woman in your life. When do we get to meet her? Um, well, it's, it's, it's complicated for now. I agree with your brother. Bring her home for dinner. Yeah. I'll only be the happiest woman on earth to see my sons get married to amazing women. See, Cassandra, she's so amazing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. Mom, Dad, Frank, we have to get going. Oh, well, we'll call you when we get home. Oh, good, good, good. Just drive safe and take care Just, of yourself. Right? Just right. take care of my son. Yes, right. Take care of my son and. You take your mind, Cassandra, okay? <laughs> All right, Dad. Oh, come on, come on. Are you good there? Huh? Go <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Please get going. Get going. Get going. Right. Your woman. Right, see, right. huh? see you soon. Bye. All right, mommy. Charlie. Bye. Take care of yourselves. I miss you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay.